Good morning, everyone. I'm Jenny Lee. Welcome to my channel again. I hope you stay with me. Don't feel waste time because I hope every time I share a special math skill for you and hope you can learn something. And I do this channel. The purpose is only to help people who love love, love math but cannot afford to pay the private tuition fee. So that's the reason I do it. Before I only do Chinese, but from this year, I would like to have more people. That's why I put a little pressure to myself, a little pressure to myself to do it in two, also English version. Okay. okay, now let's start it. Today I'm going to share with you when you do the multiply, sometimes a, a special number, you do something like if you time any number time, times 5, times 25, and times 125. How do you fast, very fast, work out the answer? Let's see. Now let's start it. Suppose, uh, for example, if you want to work, if you want to calculate like something like this, 64 multiply 5, what way can you use very fast to work it out? Normally you use uh, the way, traditional way you work it, also can work it answer, but today I'm going to show you the better way to do it. Like, actually 5 is is half, you just think about half, 5 actually is 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, now let's do it, use 64 divided by 2 is 32, uh, 32, and then after that 10 times 10, 32, times 10 is 320 so this is answer you just think about half and this is answer now let's for another let's do another one that 100 108 multiply 5 okay think about half half is how much 108 half is 54 okay 54 times 10 is what 540 so do you think it's fast? Okay, and now let's see another answer. Another one. 37 times 5, a little bit difficult. How about this one? Because you can see 37, you cannot nicely divide it by 2. So we think about this way. 37, you just think about a 37 is 36 plus 1. And this time you can see 36, you can divide it by 2 easily. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18. But 18, you still need to times 5 here. You, so 100, 18 times 10 is 180. 180. But you still have 1 here. So 1 still need to times 5. So it's 185. So you use the same trick, but you just keep in your mind this way if that this is one group five or if two groups three group you still can use this way so if every time you find the number times five you can use the first the first number half first number and then times ten. First half this number and then times ten okay now let's see how about 25 times 20 how about Times twenty five. We can. I can give you some example. Suppose like thirty two times twenty five. But at the beginning, we started. You need to know. Actually, twenty five is hundred times four. Actually, it's hundred times. Uh, sorry, hundred divided by four is twenty five. So, if in this case, you can think. Use this first number, 32 divided by 4. 32 divided by 4 is 8. And then 8 times 100 is 800. So the answer is 800. So in the future, if you see any number times 25, you can think about, use this way to think it. First, this number divided by 2 and then times 100. Now let's see, an, how about, let's see another example, something like 48 times 25 let's see how it works okay same trick use it first think about 48 divided by 4 is how much 48 divided by 4 
is 12. Okay, you can write out 12. And then 12 times 100 is 1,200. So is that fast? Okay, let's see the other one. Suppose like I have made a little bit difficult one. 21 times 25. Let's see. 21, you can nicely divide it by 4. So let's see, let's work it out. 21 is just think about 20 and plus 1. And now you can see 20 is easily divided by 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So 5 times 100 is 500. Actually, it's 500. But 500, you cannot write immediately right hand because you still have 21 here. 1 still need to time 25. So it's 525. So no matter what, this is 21 or 22, 23, you just think about divide the number to, can the number can be divide, uh, separate number to be, can divide by four and less, you just group with 25. One group, two group, three group. It's the same answer, exactly the same answer. So this is the way you do any number times 25. Just remember just, First number divided by 4, and then after that, times 100. Okay, now let's see the last one. 125 so, uh, time, or time 125. Let's see the answer. I suppose like 48 times 125. Suppose this one. Let's first work out this one. 125 actually is 1,000 divided by 8. This is actually is this one. 1,000 divided by 8. So from now, you can use the same trick. 48, think about eight, 48 divided by 8. 48 divided by 8 is 6. And then the next step is 6 times 1,000. So then 6,000, the answer is 6,000. So the same trick, if in the future, if you see any number times 125, you just first, first number divided by 8, and then time 1,000. The next step is to time 1,000. Okay, let's see a few, a few different, let's see a few different examples. How about 248? Time 125. Let's see how it work out. Okay, 248. First 248 divided by 8 is 31. And then 31 times 1,000 is... This is the answer. Okay, let's see the other one. Suppose like, make a little bit difficult one. 58 times 125. And this time you can see 50 is not easy, it's not easy to can immediately nice to divide it by eight. So you just do think about 58. Actually, you can separate is 56 plus two. 56. And then 56 is easy to divide it by eight. Seven. Eight. Actually, you want to do seven thousand, but seven you write down here seven thousand, but not. Not really same because you still have two group of two, two group 125. And 125 times two is 500. fifty is 200, sorry, it's 250. So it's 7,250. So, so long you keep your mind, keep in your mind, just Think about in any number time 125 first you first number divided by eight and then time one thousand. But in case that this kind of case, you just need to remember just separate the number. This number become the number can divided by it nicely divided by eight and then put together, and then after that put together. That's the trick, for, uh, first uh, calculate trick, and I will give you some give you some exercise for you to bring to home to do it because we know every skill if you practice more you will master it i will just give you three exercise like 36 
times five for you to do it. And the other one is 64 times 25. The third one is 82 times 125. You can practice at home after this video. And I hope at least you learned something from today. If you think this is useful, please share with your friend. And I hope your sharing with that sharing is love. If you share with your friend, maybe your information just the friend needed. So please uh, remember put your, your if you have idea just put your comment down and don't forget to click subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.